Welcome to this introduction on how to replace the inserts in a Lightic DigiGauge and how to perform a calibration of depth. You will need this set of tools for the operation. Tighten the vise so the DigiGauge will stay fixed between the rubber surfaces of the vise. Now slide the GO member removal sleeve over the gauge member to be replaced. Then slide the washer over the gauge member. Now you can place the nut and tighten it with the wrench until the member becomes loose. The gauge member can now be removed. If you want to change the no-go member, turn over the gauge in the vise. Now slide the no-go member removal sleeve over the gauge member to be replaced. Then slide the washer over the gauge member. Now you can place the nut with the cut and tighten it with a wrench until the no-go member becomes loose. The no-go member can now be removed. Now you can remove the handle from the vise. Next, place the new gauge members in the handle. To seat the gauge members into the handle, tap the gauge with a plastic hammer against a soft surface. Before calibrating the gauge, loosen the three locking screws with an Allen key. Turn the no-go gauge until the end surface of the go gauge is flush with the measuring sleeve. Next, hold the gauge vertically, pressing it gently against the table. Now you can tighten the three locking screws, ensuring the go insert is centered. After tightening the locking screws, make sure the go insert is centered. Be certain the size of the gauge is matching the calibration tool in size and pitch. Now switch on the display by pressing the on-off button on the gauge. Press the millimeter inch button to select the preferred unit of measurement, in this case millimeters. Then press the calibration tool against the go end and the measuring sleeve and make sure set is shown in the display. Press the set button shortly and the display will show the value 0.00. Now save the calibration by pressing the ref button for one second and the ref1 shows in the display. Finally check the calibration by pressing the calibration tool against the go end and the measuring sleeve. Here is how to calibrate a digi-gauge with extended measuring depth. Beware of the size of the gauge to match the correct calibration tool in size and pitch. Now switch on the display by pressing the on-off button on the gauge. Press the millimeter inch button to select the preferred unit of measurement, in this case millimeters. Confirm the preferred unit of measurement by pressing ref button for one second, ref1 shows in display. Press the ref button again to switch between set and preset. Select preset. Then press the ref button repeatedly to select the digit to pre-code the depth of the thread hole. Now you can select the wanted value by repeatedly pressing the set button. In this case the value 6. Confirm the value by pressing the ref button for 2 seconds. 
Next, press the calibration tool against the go end and the measuring sleeve. Press the set button to calibrate and the display will show the value 60.00. Now you can lock the calibration by pressing the ref button for one second and the ref1 shows in the display. Finally, check the calibration by pressing the calibration tool against the go end and the measuring sleeve. Now the gauge is calibrated and ready for proper measurements. This is how to change a worn out battery on the DD gauge. Remove the protection shield, two pieces. Now the worn out battery can be removed by a Stanley knife. Now you can place the new battery in the battery chamber, the plus side facing the front of the gauge. Then remount the protection shield to cover the battery chamber. For changing the counting direction, press both buttons at the same time so DIR appears in the display.